Welcome. This is Mr. Fisher Flips third grade and as you can tell we're going to be multiplying and dividing with the six times tables. To start out today we're going to look at the times tables and some video links that are going to be on the um, blog and you're going to find a quick overview of chapter two. It will be helpful especially for those that are um, wondering where we're at, um, this will give you a quick overview of where we're going. We're going to do some math problems with any time problem, um, math expressions. We're going to explore, model, apply, and problem solve using the sixes. And we're going to do a quick practice with some sixes. And one of your assignments will be to bring some everyday items that come in sixes and you also have a math assignment to do so as you can tell this ghost keeps popping up um, this is a reminder if you're watching Monday night or Tuesday night that the science spectacular put on by the 4-H is at Adele C. Young Intermediate School from 6 to 8 on October 1st that's Tuesday night so if you want to come that's available let's get on with the six times tables and like in a, uh, it's suggested, there are some six times tables um, links that will be on the website. I got six. That's all there is. Six times one, six. One times six. He got six. I put mine with his, and we got twelve. Six times two is twelve. Anyway, there's going to be some links on the website. Um, some that are just going to be off YouTube, like the Schoolhouse Rock videos that we just watched. That was I Got Six video. Well, the ones I really, really like are the ones that are student made. Hint, hint, anybody that would like to make a Genius Hour video, this would be available for them to do during Genius Hour. Um, but this one is put on by Weber Tube, that's Weber School District, and they have a lot of great videos that. Um, go along with the curriculum so you might see a couple of those on the website later on and within some of our lessons and this one's always fun And if you're a parent, I'm sorry, but that will stick in their minds forever. Um, multiplying and dividing with six, putting two threes together, you're going to get the sixes. So three times two is six. Put two sixes together, or put two threes together, and you get six. And you can do that also with four times three is twelve. Put two twelves together, and you get um, six times four. So something to be thinking about. But we're going to explore the patterns in six count bys, multiplications, and divisions, and solve multiplication problems. So here's an overview of the chapter. We have the remaining multiplications, that would be the sixes, the sevens, the eights, and then we're going to problem solve with multiples of ten. That will take about fifteen lessons. Instead of giving you the we'll give you a quick overview a look at it. So we have six, twelve, actually fifteen lessons and so it will go across about three weeks. We'll be able to learn all the sixes, the sevens, and the eights and the square numbers before we move on to the multiples of ten. Um, just thought you'd like to see that. And as you notice, 
there are some activities that we'll be doing in class, but for the most part, it's practicing your sixes um, for the next couple days, and then on Friday, we'll be introduced with the eights. So be, be practicing, and if you want to, work ahead. Here's our first problem. So this is problem number one. Um, two pens cost 30 cents. One pen costs 10 cents more than the other pen. How much does each pen cost? So we take, and we got 30 cents total, and we've got two pens. So we've got to decide how much each pen cost. You need to explain how you found your answer to the rest of your group, and make sure you draw a picture of at least the dimes so you can show that where you divided them up. Problem number one. Let's do some practice now. I wanted you to sh see that we pretty much have a lot of the... Okay, if we look at the six products of six, six times one is six, and six times one is six, so one times six, and we also have three times two, and two, it should be two times three. So those are the products of six. Now, if we want to actually find, we want to find the sixes, well, we already know zero times six, one times six, two times six, three times six, four times six, five times six, and nine times six, because we know our nine time tables. But we don't know six times six, six times seven, six times eight. Those three numbers we, we're not familiar with. And so my suggestion this week is to memorize those three numbers. Six times six equals 36. Six times seven is 42. And six times eight is 48. We check our answer. Awesome. So practice memorizing six times six, six times seven, and six times eight. Now I just modeled for you that one times six. We know that one that equals six. Two times six equals twelve. Three times six equals eighteen. Four times six equals twenty-four. And five times six equals thirty. But do we know these? If we just re listen to Mr. Fisher, we know that that's 36. 6 times 7 is 42. 6 times 8 equals 40. I can't get my mouse to work. 48. 6 times 9 is. 54 and 6 times 10 is 60. So those are our multiplication tables. Uh, the math board. We know 6 times 1 is 6. Right? And if we move this up, oh, 6 times 2 is 12. Go up six more. Six times three is eighteen. Let's make that just a pitch bigger. Six times four is twenty-four. Six times five is thirty. So maybe you can see some patterns. I would suggest that you get a, a separate piece of paper and actually write down one times six equals. 6 and go all the way up to 6 times 10. And do it on a separate piece of paper so that you can practice and then see if you can see any patterns. Well one of the patterns that you'll see is that there's a pattern right there. Another pattern you might be able to see is that it repeats itself. There's one 6 there's two sixes. There's three sixes. 
four sixes. Patterns that you might see. When you see the six count bys, do you hear any three count bys? So we can actually count six, twelve, eighteen, twenty-four, do you, and thirty. Do you hear any count bys? If I did the three count bys, I'd be it'd be three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-four, twenty-seven, thirty. Do you see there's some three count bys within the sixes? We're going to let you contemplate that pattern before we move on. Okay, problem number two. Use one of the strategies you have learned to find seven times six. Show your work. So one of the strategies you could use is counting by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and you can actually group those and two, three, four, five, six, and you can actually count count those, or you could do hearts. Well, let's make it an array. That's even better. Good suggestion. One, two, three, We can put those in a row, and let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many rows are we going to need? One, two, three, four, five, six. So there's two suggestions. Maybe you have some other ways that you use to show seven times six. Make sure you show your work. Problem number three. Use one of the other strategies you have learned to find 8 times 6. Show your work. Now I'm not going to demonstrate on this one, so I figure that you will be able to do 8 times 6 with either some of the strategies I just suggested or one of your own. Now practicing our 6's. Let's practice our 6 count bys. So 1 times 6 equals 6. 2 times 6 equals 12. Let's do it with twin sisters tonight. You can learn to multiply by starting really slow. Practice each and every day and all the facts you know. 6 times 1 is 6. 6 times 2 is 12. 6 times 3 is 12. Six times five is thirty. Six times six is thirty-six. And the two hard ones. Six times seven is forty-two. Six times eight is forty-eight. Six times nine is fifty-four. And practice with the multiplication table. Make sure you go through your sixes. Notice it goes down or goes across. And it meets right there at 6 times 6. It goes 36. So you'll be if you haven't got this sheet, it's coming home with the 8s, the 7s, and the squares. Um, that should be coming home in your homework. And... Here's a practice that we'll be doing in class. See if you can uh, put those in a row. And if you want to, you can uh, take a picture of that. If you have the capability and um, do it on your own. Cut them out. 6 times 10 equals 60. And see if you can put them in the right order. Now, I did show this earlier, but if you notice, these problems right here that we don't know yet. And if we look at that, those problems, 6 times 6 equals 36, 7 times 6 equals 42, and 8 times 6 equals 48. Those ones we haven't memorized yet. And we'll memorize the 7s and the 8s later, but 
those nine problems are the only ones we have not learned yet. It's kind of exciting to see that we we know most of the multiplication tables already. So um, your assignment that you're going to take home with you is this one. What everyday things come in groups of six? So your assignment tonight will be to find out what everyday things come in groups of six. And you need to come back on Wednesday with two things that you have found that come in sixes. Take a picture of it or bring it in if it's small or draw a picture of it of what you have found. You can look in your refrigerator, you can look outside. There are lots of things that come in groups of sixes. So bring two examples. And the rest of the assignment for tonight will be, besides practicing, will be these three problems plus three more. So six times something equals 54. 36 divided by something equals 6. And 6 times something equals 18. So pause the video there. And for me to put everything in a row, I just wanted to make sure you could see Kendall arranged her pennies in an array with six rows and six columns. How many pennies does Kendall have? And these two problems. Jing charges $7 for each lawn mow. And how much money does she earn? And the last one, problem number 10, the grocery store is having a sale on six packs of bottled water. So you have 10 problems to do tonight. And let's make sure you guys can see that all the way. Those are the last six problems. And that's all for tonight. Practice your sixes. Good night.